Alrighty, let's play this in full first. <laughs> Cute. All right, all right, all right. So this came with a couple notes here. So early stages, you're mentioning how it is a bit messy, uh, messy, 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 messy. Um, you want general feedback on action and motion and poses and maybe the camera movements. All right, there is a tail that's going to come later. Oh, I got it. And you haven't spent any time on the face and fingers. Got it, got it. And then the roll near the end, you still have to work on that planning and fixing contact. And all right, all right, all right. So if I'm looking looking at this here, from a general point of view, what I would do is either have some cubes, some pieces, or a grid or something in there, so we have a better idea of what the camera is doing. At the very beginning, I mean, I know it's a camera move, but for something like this, when you just have solid colors, at least there's a change here in terms of color, but it gives us a better idea that the camera is translating. Uh, if you have pieces, again, a grid or cubes, or anything that tells us more about the respective changes. Right now, if I look at that foot here, it moves, but then also has a stop, right? Right there, there's, there's a bit of a move, and then there's a bit of a hiccupy stop. And I don't know if that's something where you counter it with the animation on the foot. It is something where the camera has a weird thing, because I'm seeing it also here. And then the foot goes a bit lower. So I don't know if that's, again, part of the IK leg or something with the camera. So that's the first thing I would do. Just if you have a camera movement there, give us a bit more information there. Again, it's good to have this so we understand when the tilt is and everything else. But the more you can give us, you know, as we're traveling, probably the camera's going this way and we're in, moving with her. Uh, again, pieces or a grid or anything. I think would be cool. I think overall, my main comment would be that it feels a bit, let's say even in timing, that's always a bit of a, of a easy thing to say. It's just a bit of a look, go, 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 jump, turn, land, roll, and then that's it. Like, that's cute, like I like that at the end. But the thing is, the rest is just a bit flat in terms of timing. So even this here, like what kind of turn is this? Is she just kind of looking around? Is she hearing something? Is it something where she just casually looks around to get going? Why is she getting, why is she going over there? I know, you know, it's not like a crazy story. It's just modern mechanics and jump and everything else. But anything that can give us a bit more information, a bit more personality than just a default turn. I would kind of think about that a little bit. Then when you get to this, it has a slight feel of, like an energy is a bit missing because you're not going further out with that arm. And then with the hands, there's something where it's kind of like, okay, I got to go versus really pushing this when you go into this and she starts to run by now. And watch out, you know, have some pops in the legs from the bends to the straight here, but where we really go into a stronger, you know, a bit of a stronger line there, but also moving your, your chest forward. Just to get, she's just a very, very upright throughout. Also for contrast, it would be nice to go from this and as she goes, you know, to this point, she would be really booking it. And then for that, when she gets to here, she can come back up with the body. So you have a bit of this to that, to this in terms of contrast. But even this just feels a bit loose and, not loose and stiff, that doesn't quite work. Loose as in, She's not quite into this in terms of the energy. It's kind of like arms are just kind of up. And it's kind of, yeah, I guess I got to turn. And because of that, it just gives it a stiffness where everything also kind of moves at the same time. I know it's kind of weird notes, but I will give this again. Go back with her arms so that I can have a big swing. And that turn would be more with the, like really corkscrewing, like turning her head around. Arms would be, you know, my arm could be higher. I don't, I don't know if you want to make that turn. So if you want to swing one arm up, one arm is a bit lower. Just giving us a bit more energy. Pose-wise, careful to not bend elbows towards the camera, away from camera. Because if you do a, a silhouette test, we just have stumps there where we don't quite understand the structure. Versus if that will be up here or, you know, or whatever, like down and up or whatever you want to do. But we want to see a bit more of the structure of that arm. And again, those arms, the legs are also kind of just kind of there 
coming along for the ride. It gets just a bit stiff through there. And even this would be where you might swing those arms first and then they could be tucked in and then the body let me change that color because she's on she's red here where you have a bit more of a roll in the body and the head here she can really tuck in for a moment of being almost in a little bit of a ball where it's that just pushed a bit more like that for longer and then coming out again this feels very it's very mirrored and twin and defaulty so you can think you know not that it has to be always the three-point landing i appreciate that it's not but something where you kind of push you a symmetry a bit more. And then there's something where this is fairly high lamb, uh, drop here, but she gets to only to here. And then that's kind of, and then rolls. And I would just continue with that compression a bit lower. I know she goes into a roll, but I know you're saying it's a little rough, but just think about that as she comes in, have a bit more momentum continuing into a compression roll into this. And even that careful... It's a lot of moving forward where it's she could have maybe a bit of a slide potentially. Maybe that, that leg is a bit more forward and then slides to end in something like this. Because like there's a lot of forward momentum, there's kind of stops. And again, that is the bend. So even a knee bends towards the screen is odd either way or towards us. So now we, it looks like a short leg. So give this, you know, a bit more of a, a structure in terms of the leg so the leg can come down. You see a bit more, maybe the foot is here, at least a little bit. And that is all cute. I like all of this. Just this, the arms out like this. There's an overall feeling of those arms here, those arms there. And even on the jump where she's kind of, it's, it's almost like a hesitation in everything where the arms are not really pushing and going back. And even on this, where it could just have a stronger pose. Again, the question is, um, again, you're saying this is just for an exercise, not for your reel. The question is like, how do you want us to feel about her when we see this? This is like a, you know, arms out. Ha ha! It's like an energetic thing. You want to have a, a nicer line of action with the leg back there. This is something where she's a bit wobbly on there. She's she's practicing, and then that is more of a a balance pose. And then I would make her more wobbly. And then she made it, and that that's in the expression. Maybe she looks around and goes, ha! I made it. I didn't fall over. Ha ha! I did it. So this is kind of up to you what you want to do with her. But I would just push that into more of a clearer zone in terms of uh, the posing, if that makes sense. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, this, you know, like half critique, half lots of questions. So you can let me know, email me back, and then we can kind of talk about the direction of this exercise. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.